and welcome to the Kalashnikova show. For the first time on the show, we'll visit Russia's naval facility in Tartus to see how it works and reveal its secrets. The city's history goes back more than 2,000 years, and Tartus has one of the most important ports in Syria. The Soviet naval base in Tartus was built 50 years ago to provide maintenance and refueling facilities for the Soviet Mediterranean naval fleet. This is now Russia's only overseas naval military base. And in recent years, it's become much more crucial due to Russia's military campaign in Syria. And now the base keeps expanding and developing. In 2019, the Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov announced that the country was planning to invest half a billion dollars in modernizing Port Tartus in Syria. Very few journalists have been allowed here, including us. So now we get to see how sailors and officers live and work at the Tartus naval base. Serving on this base is much the same as any other Russian military base. The biggest difference might be the climate. The base has a cafeteria, a sports complex, a church and an open-air museum. But let's find out what the main purpose of Tartu's base is. Since the Russian campaign began, Tartu's base has become the main gateway for delivering arms, military hardware and provision to Khmeimim Air Base. Every month, huge quantities of cargo and the biggest Russian freighters sail into the port. All the hardware and weapons are brought to the dock by landing ships. Receiving supplies, though, is just one of the many reasons the base is here. There is also a huge dockyard used to maintain and repair a wide range of ships. The Tartus facility really is a true military base. It's like a sturdy sea fort with impressive combat capabilities. Several warships can be docked at the same time here at the military port. On several occasions, these ships have demonstrated their combat capabilities as part of Russia's counter-terrorist operations in Syria. They've also fired caliber missiles at known terrorist positions. The missiles were fired from submarines and Russia's aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov, and its fighters also played their part in Syria in 2016. We are now aboard the biggest ship in the Russian Navy, the aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's flagship in the Mediterranean. While filming this episode, a Buyan-class corvette, the Arekhova Zuyeva, was posted to Tartus. That vessel is named after a small town in the Moscow region. This ship is designed to engage potential enemy targets both at sea and on land. It's equipped with a wide variety of armaments. Our objectives in the region are to escort military cargo ships and ensure their safety as well as to demonstrate Russia's naval military presence here in the Mediterranean. The ship is over 74 meters long. It's 11 meters wide, and it has a crew of up to 52. It can sail for up to 10 days without resupplying. The vessel carries a range of naval artillery weapons, including a 100 millimeter cannon, she can also take caliber cruise missiles aboard. 
The base itself is kept secure by S300 and S400 AA missile systems, as well as the Panzer S anti-aircraft missile and gun system. And of course by military sub-aqua units, the combat divers. Today we have a chance to see the combat divers on a real mission. What they do is use grenades for defensive reasons. And then they conduct underwater reconnaissance. Our team specializes in finding and eliminating acts of sabotage by a potential enemy here at the port of Tartus. And that includes searching for explosives, which may have been set on a vessel's hull below the waterline. We also carry out regular patrols of the area, both by day and by night. The base's security is also provided by other warships. Tartu's naval base personnel also use Raptor-class patrol speedboats, which can go as fast as 90 kilometers per hour. They're said to be among the fastest patrol boats in the world. I'm Anna Knishenko. Don't miss our latest episodes and please do remember to subscribe.